All right, everyone, welcome back to Joe Man's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today, we're going to be going into sort of a fun topic that's two pronged. One, why should you buy used camera gear? And two, the store that I made my most recent purchase through. Not long ago, I actually sold my whole Nikon system in order to reinvest it in a new kit. If you haven't seen that video, check about my left hand here. It goes into some of the reasoning behind why I made this choice, but we're not going to go into that today. So, part one of this video is why should you buy used gear? Well, for me, it really comes from a budget perspective. When I look at buying camera gear, I think about, all right, number one, do I have paying clients? And two, how much money am I bringing in from that? And how much money can this piece of kit ultimately bring me in terms of revenue from my clients? Lots of people like to buy new gear. There is definitely a lot of good reasoning and sound logic around that. You're getting something new that hasn't been touched. There's way less chances for that gear to malfunction. You also get the warranty, right? There's a whole world of reasons why you shouldn't buy a used kit. The, the keys for buying used kit really just comes down to, number one, if you're buying it from a private seller, testing it. And two, if you're gonna buy it online, making sure that whoever the seller is reputable and has good reviews. The camera you're seeing me through right now is the Sony ZV-1. I bought this one actually from a seller on Facebook Marketplace that was in a different province. I had him literally jump on a call with me and then I e-transferred him once he went to Canada Post and he showed me that he had mailed it. I haven't had any issues with this camera, it's been great. So there's lots of different ways you can make these purchases intelligently. So as I said at the start of this video, I sold all of my Nikon gear and that included my Z6 camera body and of course yes I love my ZV-1 but I don't usually use this for client work so when making my purchase of my new system I had to make sure that the, it wasn't just a camera body but also a lens so I started doing some research online and you know there's a lot of great videos of these amazing used camera stores that are in Shibuku Tokyo and I didn't obviously have the luxury of flying to Tokyo to make this purchase so I kept on digging and I finally found this store that had an eBay presence as well as an online shopping portal called map camera and that's who I bought this camera through the Lumix S5 Mark II so it came with both this as well as the 50 mil lens and I got a killer deal on it and I think without further ado let's actually throw this camera on the tripod so now that we're on the S5 Mark II which is what I purchased through uh, map camera let me just tell you a little bit more about the store and what my experience was so I originally started by looking on their website they had a great Japanese to English translator and then I was able to just search the camera and and from there, you're able to filter from low to high in terms of price. The currency on the website is in yen. And if you are a US buyer, they've got a yen to USD converter, which is super helpful. But for the rest of us Canadian mortals, um, I took the price of the yen and just converted it on Google so I could price compare well. So I ultimately elected not to make the purchase the first day I looked on the website and I held. And I was looking, of course, on eBay as well, which is another great spot to sometimes purchase some gear. And I kept searching for the S5 Mark II right with two lenses I needed this bundle and I kept on searching and ultimately they had a listing on eBay that popped up on my radar and it was a great deal I ended up making the purchase through eBay um, it cost me about $2,500 Canadian and that included the shipping and a few years ago when I bought my Z6 I did the same thing I bought a used camera off eBay and it was through Robert's camera which is in the US again great store no issues uh, but the shipping did take a little bit of time it took about three weeks for the camera to get to me from there but the shipment that was through map camera came in three days <laughs> and this is from japan like that is crazy to me that it came that quick the condition was exactly what it looked like in the photos there were no issues there the camera's been working perfectly so obviously it was a great experience i would definitely say in the future i'm going to be checking there first for used gear uh, moving forwards if it's not something that i see on my local marketplace all right well i think that just about wraps up this video if you guys are interested in checking out map camera i've listed both their ebay store as well as their direct website below Definitely can't say enough good things about the store and the experience overall. Um, I should say now at the end of this video, this is not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form. This is just my unbiased review. But in the comments below, let me know what your experience is buying used used gear. Have you guys lucked out or have you maybe gotten a few lemons? Or perhaps you've also bought some used gear from some other great stores that you think that we should know about. Either way, comment below. I'd love to get your feedback. But I think with that one, we are going to wrap this video here. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Don't do it for the views. Do it for yourself. And I look forward to seeing you in another video super duper soon. Have a great day. Boom.